All right, this is Jim Janesy. On the screen, I've got the directory open on which I put the sound files, and I'm going to go to the file that I created with all three narrations. I'm going to right mouse click and open with Audacity. What you're seeing here is the upper part of the screen so you can see the sound wave itself. The clip that I've given you here is about 45 seconds worth of conversation and looks like this. The file is processed by Levelator looks like this, and then the Levelator file, as processed by a normalize function, looks like this. Now you can see from the waveform here that there's quite a variation. This is rather low in sound intensity. This is a peak here, some sort of a click, and then there's a more normal sound intensity here. This is going to come very low sounding, and this will sound normal if I play this one. And you'll hear this, in fact. Notice one other funny thing. Right along in here, where the recording starts, this was made with a small recording device called a Sansa Clip. You'll notice there's a displacement here. See, it's raised up above this zero level a little bit. That's called a DC, a direct current displacement. And that's something we'd like to overcome, either with Levelator or the normalization process, or in this case, both. Here you see that that early part of the conversation which was right here, in this version of the very same conversation, has been raised up to a level commensurate with the rest of the conversation. If I had just tried to do this by amplifying the entire conversation, then this would have come up to this level, but that would have taken this level and driven it over the edge of this border, which would mean that the sound waves would be clipped off, and that would be distorted. So the program named Levelator, which is available free on the web, does a lot of analysis of the sound file so that it only amplifies the weak sounds, but maintains enough proportion so you get this kind of a variation in sound. The overall effect is that it makes the entire conversation listenable at the same volume, and you'll see it also corrects this DC displacement. Now you see here, the third rendition of the same conversation is at a slightly lower intensity than here. Normalization cuts everything down to the same level. That is, it cuts everything down in, in the same proportion, trying not to exceed about half of what this available sound range is. The reason for using normalization is that if you create a series of sound recordings, you'd like to have them all be consistent so that the person listening to them doesn't have to keep twiddling with the volume control and none of them distort the speaker system or the sound system. So the last step of normalizing things is uh, very customary. Now this is speech. Speech can be processed with Levelator to do this and then the resulting Levelator file can be normalized. However, music you wouldn't want to do this step with level later because a lot of the subtlety of music comes about in the variation in the intensity of the sound. And that and other distortions would creep in if you use level later on a music file. It's not intended to do that. So for music, if it were recorded, something you recorded or obtained in some way like this, what you would do is simply that recording process and then the normalization in order to make it sound levels such that you wouldn't have to keep adjusting the volume control uh, from one selection to another. Now I'm going to play this for you, and you can just see what happens when you listen to it. I won't be talking during this time. What you should attempt to do is to distinguish in your own mind the difference in sound levels that you're going to hear, and I've separated each one of these renditions with a tone signal. I'm also going to expand this so that First of all, you can see that this really is representing sound waves here. If I expand the time scale so that what we're looking at now is very much finer than it had been before, then I can see here the tone that I generated does look like sine waves, because in fact that's what it is. And here, if I look at the sound itself, I can see some of the low frequency sound waves, but I would have to go quite far if I wanted to see how the most of the sound waves appeared, something like that. So normally we don't have this time scale set to such a fine level, and what I'm going to do is to return it back here to something that will show you what's going on, but not be so burdensome as to be too detailed. And let's do this right here. What we're going to see is 
one second intervals are about this long. So you'll see the cursor moving ar around here fairly quickly. I'm going to get back to the beginning of the Audacity file and now I'll play it here. This is an original conversation as recorded without the amplitude of any segment being changed. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. All right. It's a little awkward. Okay. Um, this, by the way, is, is probably <coughs> those who are under the age of 38 or 39. And why is that? Well, because those who were older had left Egypt, had come from Egypt. In other words, okay, let's go back and just see some of the some of the passages. Um, take a look at Numbers, chapter fourteen. This is the same conversation as processed by Levelator to bring the low-level sound up to a standard level for speech. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. All right. It's a little awkward. Okay. Um, this, by the way, is, is probably <coughs> those who are under the age of 38 or 39. And why is that? Well, because those who were older had left Egypt, had come from Egypt. In other words, okay, let's go back and just see some of the, some of the passages. Um, take a look at Numbers chapter 14. This is the same conversation after processing by Levelator and then being normalized using Audacity. Then the Lord said to Joshua, Today I have rolled away the reproach of Egypt from you. So the place has been called Gilgal to this day. All right. It's a little awkward. Okay. Um, this, by the way, is, is probably <coughs> those who are under the age of 38 or 39. And why is that? Well, because those who were older had left Egypt, had come from Egypt. In other words, okay, let's go back and just see some of the, some of the passages. Um, take a look at Numbers chapter 14. And that's the end of this recording. You can go on at this point to read more pages in the workbook, and I will use the same example to show you how we do a little bit of sound editing on this particular passage as we finally normalized it so we can get rid of some of the junk and the noise that exists in there. You heard some somebody blowing their nose, you heard some clicking, you heard the various other kinds of things that we can clean this stuff up and remove, for example, the ahs in some people's speech if we want to, so that we can make this into a more listenable recording, something that people wouldn't be as distracted by or the intended conversation be obscured by noises that really shouldn't be there.